Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. And ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Mandible Judy, the best entertainment that you will have in the year 2021 or the decade. There's a certain level of cruelty that only a group of children can muster. When one is made to wear a retainer brace at age eight, it was surely an unpleasant sight. The metal headgear wrapped around her face. There were lots of stories about the night of her ninth birthday sleepover. Kids say she willed her metal brace into massive jaws, incising her way through the house. But it was no fault of her own. Mandible Judy isn't a nice name for a quiet little girl. So, why am I the lucky one tonight? Is it luck to go to a shitty movie with me? Well, where's Javier? I thought things were working out. Yeah, things are fine. He's just one of those aloof guys. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm fine with it, really. I don't want someone hanging on all the time. You can go do stuff with other people. No big deal. Well, as long as you're good with it. Yeah. Anyway, where's Lily? Wait, uh, that's her name, right? It's not like Petunia or Gladiola, is it? Oh, wow. Very funny, asshole. She's fine. She's just studious. Oh, damn. Fell for another egghead. Whatever, dude. Just because you're a dropout. Hey, lay off. I was top of the class in Metal Shop. <laughs> yeah. We've got air conditioning. Here's Even the theater. Even though it's uh, late November, we've got plenty of air conditioning. Oh, shit, there's a line. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever experienced the aroma du trauma, you will want to come inside this movie theater immediately. <laughs> I'm starting to think we came to see the wrong movie. If your ticket stub doesn't say, Surf Nazis must die, then you, my friend, are seeing the wrong movie. Surf Nazis must die. Oh shit, that's You've the name of the movie? Worldwide, so take a whiff of the Aroma du Troma. Return to your homes. There is no show. The frog will tell you all you need. Beat it, boy. You're scaring the ticket buyers. Listen to the rocks. They bring the word of the frog. I don't believe it. Are these guys still following us? Bring the rocks! Where were you freaks last year when we were filming this movie? We, 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 we could have used you. Quick, let's get inside. These guys just don't let up. You made it. Are you okay? I'm okay. I have a lot to tell you. Catherine told me about the stone. And Uncle Pete. Somehow, the cooler keeps them quiet. Stones that sing songs. Nothing to sneeze at. Marco, this is my Uncle Wally. Glad to meet you, sir. Oh, the boyfriend, huh? Seems capable. Okay, then. Let's get this thing inside. Bonnie, ah, I remember you from dental services. I think you know Casey Handelman, right? Hey, Bonnie. Hi, Casey. What are you doing here? Casey has been in touch with Kenny. Mr. Howard, I'm so sorry. The way things have gone. So am I. We've all got a lot to talk about. Come in. This is Connor Darcy. Hello, Bonnie. This is my uncle, Wally Morgan. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just the muscle. Bonnie, can you tell us where you last saw Judy and Kenny? On the side of the road. The Lake Drive. I hit the radiator with a 12 gauge. They won't be driving anywhere. This rock, we think it's only active when you look directly at it. So we closed it up in this cooler for now, but we've got to get rid of it. I don't know anywhere we could put it that it would be safe. The risk is too great. Marco's right. No matter where we hide the stone, there's always a chance they'll find it. But we can use it to lure them to us. You saw what she did to Dr. Fousey? I don't think anyone can control her. Wait. 
What exactly does she look like, Bonnie? Well, she's changed a lot. She barely looks human now. Long spindly arms and legs. Uh, yeah. That sounds like what I saw in my in my dream. She was with Kenny. That was totally ridiculous, but brilliant at the same time. I know. Wow. That story idea, like, how did they even get that made? You want to hit autos before heading back? Absolutely. So, let's take a left here. Petra, what are we going to do about Casey? Yeah, I talked to him. He says he threw out the pills. Well, it's a start, but I'm still worried about the guy. Me too. What's that? Weird. Over here. Oh, it's the Pentecostals. They do some weird stuff. Good thing I brought my recording Walkman. Yeah, but that sounds like... Wait, what are they saying? I don't know, speaking in tongues? Shh. Edgy, that's Casey's song. Again. Come on, this is great. Edgy, don't go in there. What the hell, man? When we listen, we hear his word. He tells all who will listen of the great journey. When we hear the ringing of the rocks, that is when the blue frog speaks. His voice is gentle, but it carries a force that we cannot deny. Just Roman. Oh my God, that guy right there, isn't that? Holy shit, the guy from the movie theater, the film producer. <laughs> wow. Why, there's two by the door. Oh God. Come in, join Let's us. Let's go. Hear the word tonight. Hedgy. Yeah. It is time. Don't let them get away. Run! Wait! Thanks for tuning in to Season 3, Episode 7 of Mandible Judy. And thanks to our special guest, Lloyd Kaufman of Troma Entertainment. Head over to watch.troma.com and get access to over a thousand movies, including the Troma classics. The first month is free, and it's only $4.99 after that. We've begun recording bonus episodes, which are available for free to our Patreon supporters, or as individual purchases at mandiblejudy.bandcamp.com. We're starting this Friday with the epilogue to the episode that you just heard. Episode 3 of Under Dead Water will also be released this way, as will every second episode of that series. You can become a patron of Mandible Judy, get access to this bonus content, and help keep the series going at patreon.com slash mandiblejudy. Or visit mandiblejudy.bandcamp.com to buy the episodes, along with bonus music tracks and other audio content. Our cast this week was Tamria Dow, Glenn Graber, Lloyd Kaufman, Ken Applebaum, David Steele, Aaron Lillis, Chris Burke, Gary Scales, Bob Lukomsky, John Constantine, and Mike Hall. Music this week was by Glomag, with the Cult of the Blue Frog chant performed and recorded by Bob Lukomsky. We recently launched a Discord for fans of the show and the cast to interact, 
See our show notes for all our links. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and the show is available on iTunes and all major streaming platforms. Yeah.